Good morning and welcome back to River Mountain Homestead where the hens are cackling and raising cane this morning. It is Wednesday. The rain is gone, I think, for a little while. And it's time for me to get back after it. Uh, on the agenda for me today, I've got to finish out my uh, bottom side around the building here, which is basically the concrete forms. I'm going to get up top and get everything laid out for the rafters. And I think I'm going to start framing in for some windows today if I can get all those laid out and figured out where they're going to go. Then I'll cruise on and get those framed out and ready to go. Other than that, kind of slowly pecking along on the agenda, waiting to get these rafters up. Uh, I've got some measuring to do today so I can get my metal order placed. I still have not done that yet, but the rain just kind of blah. Yeah, it was good to take a good rest yesterday. Excuse me, Missy, you can't eat the tripod. She's gonna try though. Hey. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, let's move it. But that's the agenda for today. Uh, also, Miss Angela, has decided since she's away from home so often and it's hard to keep up with what she's got going on and the things that she's doing she has created her own channel so if anybody wants to go and follow miss angela her name for her youtube channel is one blessed girl and i will leave a link in the description down here to her channel if anybody would like to tag along with her and keep up with her I've got two Pyrenees inside the tripod of this camera. <laughs> Come on, goobers. What are y'all doing? You're going to take it all out. Uh, these kids, I tell you what, they're, they're something else. Hi, Miss... Jeez. Crackers. Uh, let's try that again. They were doing this under the tripod. I just... It's good weather for it, I guess. It's good weather for it, I guess. But with that, guys, uh, not much went on yesterday, I assure you. And just ready to get back after it and get progress moving forward again. So... Let's get over here and see what I can get figured out. Now then, right, wrong, or indifferent, it doesn't matter. There's a thousand different ways you can do this. Um, this is just the way I'm doing it. This is my concrete form on the bottom. So my concrete will come to the top of this around the bottom. This one by here is treated. And by covering the bottom of this two by, which is not treating, which is not treated, this gives me a ground contact that's treated that's gonna last a little longer than this guy here it's still gonna rot through eventually with time but it's also going to give me a lip to where when my tin sets on the face here that's gonna give a spot for my tin to set so that I don't have to worry about sealing up those bottom holes or anything I don't have to worry about rodents or anything coming through until this rots out you can use metal flashing you can use a thousand different things this was just my cheap way of doing it and I was just kind of showing you what I was doing I can show you over here on this back side where I've got these on but this is the very bottom rung down here and you can see how it's got that lip all the way down and that's what my metal will set on and that'll keep critters from being able to just run up inside the wall from outside or help prevent like I said there's a thousand different ways of doing it 
this is just my way uh, with the current prices of lumber and everything I kind of weighed my options out on everything and this is the way I went I was able to get these uh, one by four eights that are treated for like five bucks a piece yes it was like half the price to buy treated as it is untreated it's kind of sad but that's just where the world's at right now so yes I've got this back side on I done it the other day I've got the other three sides to do and that will be my concrete form around the bottom. And that is half of the bottom done since I've already got that back done. I got it, got it knocked out the other day got this strip down through here on now and you can see how that lip's going to work for that tin to sit down on it all right now i gotta go this way And there's the third side on. Whew. But it's lunchtime already. Half the day's gone. Where does it go? I, I just look up and it's gone. It's all right. I'll cool off for a minute. <sighs> Human and running a shovel is not any fun. But that's all right. It's got to get done. So take a little lunch break knock out this other side back here and then i can move on to framing a couple of windows this afternoon that'll give me something to do tomorrow and friday i guess is finishing all the little knickknacks up that always seems to be the thing that takes the longest amount of time right all the stuff you don't even just the little stuff yeah hey rubug you ready for lunch buddy huh you ready for lunch are you ready for lunch big man you got to get a good stretch and a yawn in. Oh, goodness. Are you ready for lunch now? Okay, I'm coming. Bottom course is complete. The concrete grade is on. Whew. Now, if all that dirt was 100% level, it's close. I've got a little low spot back here, and I've got a little high spot here and there. Just got to finagle it by hand and get it lined out for concrete. Oh. But 
I'm gonna go over here and start framing up one of the windows and then I'm probably gonna stop from there because I'm gonna spend some time calculating all my tin and trying to get that order in and it's gonna take me a little bit figuring out everything I need on the eaves and trim and yeah all that garbage but I'm gonna get over here and start on a window and that'll at least let me figure out how I'm gonna do that through this first one and then the other four should just fly together And there it is, one window framed. These windows that we're putting in here are three foot by four foot, four inch. They're replacement style windows, so they'll just set in a screw in place. They're gonna have a deep window seal since the walls are two by six thick, plus this inch and a half out here. So it'll have a deep inside which is great. Gives me opportunity to set plants in the window without having to make a massive window sill in there. But I can extend that out a little bit more with a window sill in there and get a decent sized pot in each one of these windows. <sighs> Always thinking ahead. So four more of those to go, probably tomorrow afternoon. I've got a doctor's appointment in the morning. So it'll be late for me getting started tomorrow. And yeah, uh, I don't feel like I accomplished a lot today, but uh, apparently digging that trench to set that bottom board in takes a lot of time. I think I dug, I don't know, probably 50 foot of trench with a shovel. So I feel like that's where the majority of my day ended up. It wasn't deep, but a couple inches, you know, there were some high spots and low spots just trying to get that board exactly where it needed to be. But yeah, that's how I trim out. I brought it down and set it on the bottom of that header because those headers are 12 inches, right at 12 inches. And eight foot side wall. So trying to make my windows seven foot high like you normally would with a door and a window. Uh, these had to drop down just a hair to get down below that big header, but that's all right. It's a shop. Never have ever girl. But I think that's all I've got for today, guys. I'm going to pick my tools up. It is actually drizzling rain again. I don't think it was supposed to, but we know how the weatherman is. So I'm going to pick up tools, and then I'm going to do some measuring and figure out my tin. And then I'm going to go sit down and draw all that mess up and try to get an order placed. And hopefully everything goes good with trusses on Saturday to where I can start hanging some tan on the roof of this thing next week. If Mother Nature will allow it. <laughs> it's always the key. Don't forget to check out Miss Angela's new channel. Uh, it's in the description down here. And other than that, guys, we will catch y'all on the next one.